Today guys, I'm going to build a two-chamber house for you here. Go through it real quickly. We have a very excited uh, husky running around the uh, shop here due to the new addition of chicks, which you can see in our other videos. Calm down. He's absolutely positive he should be able to take them out and play with them, but uh, that wouldn't work out good, would it? Okay, our two-chamber house. What a two-chamber means is that there are two three-quarter inch areas or chambers inside the house. They'll be divided by a baffle. And I'm just going to go through and build the house here. All of our parts are pre-cut on CNC. Um, everything is by my design using CAD CAM software. And what we do is we take the sides and put them down. I, I put them here, if you can see here, and fold them over just to give me a guide as to where the caulk goes. And we use a polyurethane adhesive sealant that is very, very durable. Takes it about 24 hours to cure, but it does not come apart. And then once those are in place, simply fold them up, pull it over, and use your fingers to find the edge. They can see better than the eye. And then I'll put a small brad up underneath to hold the side in place while I'm working. Turn it around here and repeat. You'll notice the sides are cut out of a solid one inch piece of weatherproof material. And the baffle slots are machined in. You'll see how that gets used here in a moment. There we go. And we have a pre-cut roof brace. This goes on the back. It strengthens the house and gives a place to secure the roof on the house at the same time. A little bit of adhesive. And we'll tack this in place. better one there. Looks good. And we'll get a little adhesive on the front here. Can't be working unless you get caulk on you. And got a little bit of a misfire on the nail gun here. I'm going to pull that out. Gun's getting old. Driven a lot of nails. There we go. And then we have the front of the house. We'll secure it on. Again, I'm using my fingers to judge whether the material is flush against the other material or not. It sees better than your eye can. And we get a good bit of caulk squeeze out going on. Not a big deal. All that will get cleaned up.
try to go a little slower for you here so you'll get to see everything. Then this roof brace goes here in the front of the house toward the top. Got a clamp here, we'll hold it in place. I've got another screen clamp around here somewhere. Or not. and a quarter exterior screws. Put these in. finished. Now you can see in here we've got this large gap. This is where the baffle is going to go. So let me get the baffle. We cut these out, pre-cut, ready to go. Passage holes for the bats to go chamber to chamber. Make sure they're at the top. Slides right in. Now, you can see from the bottom, we've got a two-chamber house. See from the top, we've got a two-chamber. And there's a little bit of room up here above it, but not enough that we would call it a nursery house. Now, it's time to put the roof on. roof here ready to go got our roof spacer marks our overhang so that the house is or the roof is centered on the house that up against there drop it right into that dado on the back slide it over and push down while folding it into the body of the house here I'll put a force there and we'll tack that with a brad to hold it in place. Now we'll pre-drill. And put the screws in. sure you can hear Henry pacing. Now we'll get the screws in the back. All the holes except these are pre-drilled. The very bottom ones are placed by eye. And that's because between the different house models, the one through the four chamber, that hole moves around just a little bit. screws 
is put in. for the integrated cleat which goes on back here that place press the glue down we'll take our brad gun and tack this in place pull that over just a little bit three screws are actually inch and five eighths and they don't just hold the cleat on they actually reach through and grab the roof itself and will pull it back into the body of the house and you can twist it until you see the caulk squeeze out and these are done without pre-drilling have a two-chamber house ready to go to paint. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, let me know.